the problem based on calculus which we are going to take now seems to be very lengthy very complicated but when you make use of some basic concepts on function it comes out to be quite simple so let's have a look on this question which has the two function f and g the function f is having the domain from minus 1 to 1 codomain real set and the function g has domain as well as codomain in the interval from minus 1 to 1 the function fx is defined by mod of 2x minus 1 plus modulus of 2x plus 1 and the function g of x is x minus greatest integer of x which means gx is the fractional part function of x and then it talks about the function fog which is the composite function f of gx the question then says that c is the number of points in the interval from minus 1 to 1 where the composite function fog is not continuous and d is the number of points in the open interval from minus 1 to 1 where the function fog is not differentiable and we have to find out the value of c plus d that means the number of points where fog is not continuous plus the number of point where fog is not differentiable we need to find now to start with i will just have a look on this f of x which is the sum of the two mod expression and we know that modulus expression will change its definition when what is there inside the mod becomes zero so here our critical point from these two mod will be x is equal to 1 by 2 and x is equal to minus 1 by 2. So, we will redefine the function f of x as when x is less than minus 1 by 2 it becomes minus 2x plus 1 minus 2x minus 1 which is equal to minus of 4x when x is less than minus 1 by 2. When x lies between minus 1 by 2 to 1 by 2 this becomes uh, this 2x minus 1 is negative 2x plus 1 is positive so we have minus 2x plus 1 plus 2x plus 1 which is equal to 1 plus 1 that is 2 when x lies between minus 1 by 2 to plus 1 by 2 and when x is greater than 1 by 2 we have both the values positive so 2x minus 1 plus 2x plus 1 which becomes equal to 4x when x is greater than 1 by 2. So, if we try to plot the graph of fx, how it becomes is between minus 1 by 2 to plus 1 by 2, it takes the constant value as equal to 2 and when x is greater than 1 by 2, it is continuously increasing. So, the graph becomes like this minus 1 by 2 to 1 by 2 it is a constant value as 2 when x is greater than 1 by 2 it will be increasing when x is less than minus 1 by 2 it would be decreasing function like this and we have to uh, write this function fx only in the interval from from minus 1 to 1 so say this is say minus 1 and this is say 1 so at both minus 1 and 1 if you see the value of the function is equal to 4 so say this is say 4 so the function is actually only till here so this is how is the function which we have between minus 1 and 1 now let us see the other function g of x which is a fractional part function and we know that fractional part function is a periodic function whose graph goes like this and the period of this fractional part function is equal to 1. Now, I will make use of a very important property of the periodic function. If we have the function f o g and if g x is a periodic function means the inside function of the composite function is a periodic function then f o g is also periodic. That means we have here f o g of x is f of g x which is fractional part function of x. Now, if this inside function fractional part function is periodic then the whole function f o g is 
also periodic with the same period what is there for the function fractional part function which is equal to 1. So, the period of f o g is 1 that means whatever is happening from 0 to 1 the same thing will happen between minus 1 to 0 in the graph of f o g. Okay. Secondly, we know that fractional part function of x between 0 to x is nothing but is equal to x only. So, I can simply write this value as f of x for x between 0 to 1. Now, between 0 to 1, this graph will be same, f o g graph will be same between 0 to 1, whatever is the graph, this we have drawn the graph of f x, same is the graph of f o g of x in the interval from 0 to 1. So, if I want to plot the graph of say f o g of x, how it would actually look like, say this is, this is say x equal to 0 and here we have x is equal to say 1 by 2. Now, if you draw the graph, what we get is between 0 to 1, it is exactly same. So, the function becomes like this between 0 to 1. So, this is between 0 to 1. Between 0 to 1, the function is exactly same. Now, because the function is periodic, so whatever is happening between 0 to 1, same thing will happen between minus 1 to 0. So, if I have this value as minus 1, this is minus 1 by 2. So, what I get is exactly the same thing means it comes out to be the exact replica. So, what we get over here will be something like this, something like this and here if you see the function will be having a discontinuity you can clearly see. So, when I draw the graph I will have to lift my pen from here only at one point. So, we need to find out the number of values of x where the function is not continuous. So, clearly only at one point x equal to 0 in the interval from minus 1 to 1 the function is not continuous which is the value of c. So, here we get the value of c is equal to 1. Now, I need to find out the number of point where the function is not differentiable and we know wherever the graph has sharp corner like at x is equal to 1 by 2, x equal to 1 by 2 and x equal to minus 1 by 2. These are the two points where we get the sharp corner. So, the function is not differentiable at these two points plus whenever the function is not continuous obviously there also the function is not differentiable. So, the function will not be differentiable you can see that at x is equal to 0. Now, you can note that the graph is the function is actually not defined at minus 1 and 1. So, I cannot take consideration of minus 1 and 1 because we have been given the open interval minus 1 to 1. So, you can see that the function is not differentiable at 3 points. So, what I would write is the value of d will be equal to will be equal to 3 at the 3 point x is equal to x is equal to minus 1 by 2, x equal to 0 and x equal to 1 by 2. These are the three points where the function is not differentiable. So, c equal to 1, d equal to 3. What I get is the value of c plus d which is equal to 1 plus 3 equal to 4. That means the answer to this question is 4 is the number of points where the function is not continuous plus not differentiable c plus d is equal to 4. So, that is how we solve this question I hope you must have understood the logic and you must have enjoyed this question. The question could be made more challenging had the interval be instead of minus 1 to 1 it, it has considered say some other interval if I take say minus 100 to plus 100. So, now based on this logic try to find out the value of c plus d when the function is defined in the interval say from minus 100 to 100 and write the answer in the comment box. I will surely revert back to it. Hope you must have enjoyed this question.